Welcome! Today I'd like to talk about block validation and provisional staking within the Dust Network. The Dust Network consensus algorithm, called the Segregated Byzantine Agreement, consists of two phases, the block generation and the block validation. During the block generation phase, potential round leaders submit their own block of transactions to the network. During the block validation phase, a committee of validators called provisioners elect the winning block to be added to the blockchain in a permanent and final manner. In this video, I will dive into the second phase, the steps performed by the provisioners and the provisioner committee. If you would like to know more about the block generation and proof of blind bid, check the link in the description section. The generation phase ends with the block generators propagating their score from the blind bid lottery, together with a new block, a one-time stealth identity, and the proof of blind bid to the committee of validators for that round. During the block validation phase, different committees of validators, called provisioners, follow multiple steps in order to select the winning block to be added to the blockchain in a permanent manner. By running a non-interactive procedure called committee extraction, a node reckons if it is part of the committee or not. The extraction happens during each step of the validation, and the probability of getting extracted is linked to the amount of dusk each provisioner must stake. The validation begins with the selection phase. If it is collecting the highest score associated to a block, a node extracted to be in the committee during the selection phase picks the candidate block associated to the highest score it sees, and at the end of that phase it propagates its pick to the network, and the reduction step can begin. Hence, the selection procedure is effectively an extraction of the winning candidate. The winning block generator, that's the one with the highest score and valid proof, is chosen by the committee and is considered the leader in PBFT term for the current iteration of the consensus. The leader is the one who proposes the candidate block. Thanks to our proof of blind bid algorithm, the identity of the block generator remains anonymous throughout the entire process. At the end of the step, each node in the selection committee propagates the ID of the candidate, the so having the highest score. Now, it might happen that different nodes propagate different IDs due to a hiccup in the network or getting the highest score after the selection time out. So to narrow down the possible multiplicity of candidates, the validation algorithm includes two separate reduction steps. The first reduction step committee achieves consensus by collecting all IDs of the candidates propagated by the members of the selection committee. If 75% of the members of the selection committee send the same ID, the candidate block associated with that ID wins the reduction step. This method of shrinking the number of potential candidates is vital to ensure that all nodes are focused on a single block in the event that most promising candidates do not reach everyone in the committee in time during the selection phase. The second reduction step is in essence the same as the first. The committee of the second reduction collects the ID elected during the first one and checks if it is again propagated by 75% of the committee members. Splitting the reduction phase into two different steps like this allows us to drastically reduce the amount of committee members needed while keeping the same level of security. Instead of thousands of members, we have created a secure mechanism that needs only a few dozen, 64 committee members to be exact. After the commencement of the second reduction step, the protocol transitions to the round's final step, the agreement. The agreement step is where a fresh block is given its blessing to move onto the blockchain. The committee collectively records the signatures of each individual voting member into a BLS multi-signature. The importance of the agreement step cannot be overstated. At its core, the agreement provides a statistical guarantee that at least one active and honest node has received enough votes to consider the candidate block final. Once completed, Reverting transactions within the accepted block becomes probabilistically impossible. And as such, the agreement phase satisfies a very important requirement, the so-called block finality. This brings a level of certainty and speed to the protocol that is particularly sought after within the financial systems. So there you have it. From selection to agreement, 
we have been through the steps of the block election performed by the various provisional committees within the NAS network. If you have questions about the block generator or provisional staking, go to staking.dust.network. Leave any suggestion or questions in the comments section. See you in the next video and tot sins.